Today, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 72, a level full of crabs and even a behemoth crab-like creature that comes down from the sky to attack you. What else could you want in a Backrooms level? Without further ado, or any other explanation, let's get into it, shall we? Also, welcome back to day three of Brugmas. Hope you're having a great day. Leave a like if you want to. Level 72 of the Backrooms is the 73rd level in the catalog, and it's classified as a class two difficulty with an environmental difficulty of two out of five, an entity difficulty of two out of five, and an exit difficulty of three out of five. Although you'll see why later, why that really doesn't matter because it's actually really dangerous here. Definitely more so than a class two. The level consists of a large island smack dab in the middle of a shallow ocean. The island seems to take the rough shape of a crab, so its design is kind of like in a crab shape. And the level gets its name from that shape, and that's where the level gets its name, Call of the Crabs, from. The ocean surrounding the island is virtually empty, with little to no life in it. It's just water. And it goes out in all directions, for as far as your eyes can see, specifically around 3.7 miles, or 6 kilometers. At the edge of that 3.7 miles, the distance of the ocean instantly just drops off into a waterfall that drops into a void. So think of this as like a floating ocean with an island in the middle, and on the edges, it just drops off into a void. The actual island itself is a sandy island, and it's comprised of several sand dunes and palm trees and bushes and pieces of coral and seashells and all those kind of things. And there are also some other things here that I'll talk about later, just just know that it's not that safe. The level itself is also very hot constantly and very humid. It stays at literally a solid 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 Celsius at all times and it kind of feels like you're in an oven. The water here is also salt water which means that the constant breeze that's blowing the air on the island will make your skin dry out and you'll get very dehydrated since it's going to be salty air. You pretty much look like Patrick and Spongebob underneath the heat lamp. Now, randomly, around every two-ish weeks, the level seems to produce rain clouds through an unknown means, and it'll rain for a few minutes at a time. This is all of the fresh water that can be attained on this level. So if you're trapped here and you can't store that fresh water or grab it somehow, I don't know what you're gonna do, you're screwed. Now, ironically, underneath the island, there are hundreds of freshwater aquifers of different sizes. The bigger ones are deeper underground. These aquifers are pretty much impossible to get to for every wanderer who comes here because no one brings shovels or equipment. Like, why would you bring that stuff while you're exploring the back rooms? But anyways, if you don't have that kind of stuff, they're just down there. But these aquifers are where the plankton and other organisms like crabs come out of on this level. And the crabs that live here go down to those aquifers for the food source, which are the plankton and creel. Now, speaking of crabs, there are thought to be eight species of crabs that live on this small island. Now, there's only eight species, but there are supposedly millions of crabs crawling around. There are Dungeness crabs, flat top crabs, ghost crabs, gold crabs, hermit crabs, Pacific mole crabs, red king crabs. All of these are real life species that are found here. And those are just the recognizable species. There are other ones too. Each one of those crabs tends to only eat the krill and the plankton that's below the island, but they're also seemingly genetically coded to eat themselves and their friends. Like they'll, they'll eat each other. They will literally cannibalize one another. That's right. Got a little crab on crab crime going there. Now these crabs that I just mentioned are typically pretty safe. They're not that dangerous. The only reason you'd have to fear them is if you have a fear of crabs because there are literally you know hundreds of thousands of them crawling around the small island constantly. But there is a level exclusive crab that isn't safe at all. Like it's completely not. And you should be afraid of this one. The Aurora crab behaves pretty similarly to a poison dart frog from real life because this crab is very colorful, it's very bright, and it's very unsafe to be near. Its shell and body are this wonderful array of shiny colors and pigments, but it's the colors themselves that are the danger, because they seem to be some kind of toxin, because if you touch that toxic color, you will get a severe reaction or rash to whatever part of your body touched it. But it doesn't stop at a simple rash. Of course it doesn't. You see, the rash is just the beginning. 
after it starts, your blood from the inside of your body will start to seep out of you in different orifices. Like literally right out of your skin pores, it'll just start dripping out. Think of somebody wringing out a wet washcloth, except this is your body being wrung out and it's not water coming out of you, it's the red stuff inside of you, if that makes sense. Now, ironically, the Aurora Crab is actually pretty safe and docile, as in it doesn't attack people outright. Its shell is the only dangerous part about it, and it only is dangerous if you touch it. If you see something bright, don't touch it unless you want to literally get drained of all your juices. Now, even beyond that, there are whispers from people who have been to this level that say beyond the ocean, where a water falls off into that void below, there is a gigantic crab-like creature that's been seen stepping out of it. All that's been seen is the giant black silhouette at nighttime of huge crab legs slowly walking around the ocean. We're not sure if these reports are real or if it's just a tale to get people not to come here, but as you can see, that would be a terrifying sight to see when you're just kind of like sleeping on an island. You see giant stick-shaped legs walking around. That's terrifying. So to summarize, this level is an island shaped like a crab in the middle of a shallow ocean, which itself is floating in the middle of a void. And the only things on this island are millions of crabs sprawling around constantly. There's one species of colorful crab that if you touch it, you'll pretty much leak your insides. And there's thought to be a giant crab-like creature that walks around at nighttime randomly doing whatever, whatever it does. We have no idea. So yeah, that makes, that makes perfect sense to me. Love it. Now there's supposedly a community here on this level called New Crabland that just has around 20 people. Apparently they're pretty friendly and they just chill on the island most of the time. To enter the level, you can be on level 75 and find a roasted crab and consume it and then you'll wake up here. And if you wanna exit, that's where it gets pretty tricky because you really and truly can't. Essentially you're trapped on this island, you're marooned. If you were like a pirate, you'd be marooned here on this crab infested place forever, slowly running out of fresh water until you either get cooked by the sun or consumed by that giant crab or something along those lines. So if you find the exit, tell everybody because that'd be a nice thing to do, right? A lot of wanderers get to this point and they can't get past it. So be warned. All right, that was level 72. Hope you enjoyed it. I love me a good island level, and who doesn't like crabs? You know, I love crabs. Not the disease, just, just the actual animal. Anyways, thank you for watching till the end. Leave a fat like since it is day three of Brugmas, and while you're doing that, check out the merch below if you if you want to. It'd be a good family little gift for, for your, your friends, your family, you know, if you want to support the old Brewster. The second and third channel are also down there if you want more of me. And with all that said, I hope you had a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.